Now, KSPW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Tracy Henson, and this is the view such as it is. Looking out from Palo Escrito, the fog I think will probably lift and we'll probably see some sunshine, I believe, pretty soon. Now, temperature wise, well, once again, it's a mild morning here in Salinas with a temperature of 62 degrees currently. And as we take a look at the temperatures around the area, lots of clouds still left over from that weather system that moved through here the last day or so. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Monterey is the warmest right now in the area with 63 degrees. And around the state, you can see that we are moving into fall because if you notice the inland temperatures, in many cases, they're actually cooler than along the coast. We have currently 59 degrees in Fresno, but then you go over to San Francisco, 63 degrees, even five degrees warmer than in Sacramento right now. You can tell that it is really fall around our area. But then if you look around the nation, these temperatures don't look very fall-like. We have 60s and 70s currently. Only the west is on the cool side with Boise at 54 and Seattle at 54. Now, we are expecting some rain shower activity, the heaviest of which is going to be over the eastern Great Lakes into the northeast. The rest of the nation, there will be some scattered shower activity, but it won't be that significant. What is significant, though, is if we look at these temperatures, unbelievable for fall. We have 80s and 70s, and Salinas, or correction, Seattle is the coolest expected high with 69 degrees. So we're still waiting for some real fall-like weather across the nation. Now, over our neck of the woods, we have had a taste of fall. We had that weather system that moved through a couple days ago and dumped some rain on us. You can see the upper level of pressure area. It's now moving over the southern San Joaquin Valley. It's pretty much over. We are feeling the effects of the cool air brought down by the jet stream, but all of this is going to change over the next few days. In fact, it's already changing because today we're going to have more sun and slightly warmer temperatures. And if we take a look at future cast, you can see what we expect to see happen over the next five days. Here's that cool pool of air, and we expect it to gradually move out. And then by Wednesday and Thursday, to be replaced by strong high pressure. This is a classic fall weather pattern. With that fall weather pattern, we expect to see a moderate offshore flow beginning Wednesday and Thursday, and that's going to cause temperatures to really pop, especially right along the beaches. Today is still going to be a nice day, though. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy in the San Francisco Bay Area with highs in the 70s. And in the Santa Clara Valley, mostly sunny. Maybe a few decorator clouds over the hills. Highs mid-70s to upper 70s. And here in the Salinas Valley, you guessed it, temperatures in the 70s. Mostly sunny skies with a few clouds over the hills. And then for the Monterey Bay Area, a beautiful day once again. Temperatures just a little bit warmer than yesterday, becoming mostly sunny. And then for the Santa Cruz County area, mostly sunny. Temperatures in the mid-70s, maybe a few clouds over the hills. Next seven days, we're going to warm those temperatures up a little bit more tomorrow and then really pop them Tuesday, Wednesday through Friday. And the same goes for the coast. Look at those temperatures by Friday. It's going to be fantastic beach weather. Wow, it sounds like it. Yep. We'll just have to stay tuned and find out, though. We'll find mm -hmm. out. All right, thanks, Phil. Sure.